Hey guys, so we're here at Cliff's Barber Corral. I've been wanting to come and do a video here for a while now. My cousin Brandon on, he's been doing videos for his channel and on his own channel of him for a long time now. And I've always wanted to get a haircut from this man. He seems so down to earth and I can't wait to meet him. So let's go. Hey Cliff, how's it going? Oh, you, awesome, you? nice to meet you. Yeah, finally, thank it's you. been it's been uh, like amazing seeing all your videos on YouTube as well as on Brandon's channel. So I've definitely been wanting to come down here and do one and show the experience. Not only that, but like advice that you'd like to give and for barbers or even for non-barbers, people who are just looking to do something with their life. So well, great, it's going to be a eventful experience, and I'm glad you're here. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Let's go ahead and let's get started. So we're here with uh, Cliff from Cliff's Barber Crow. And I've been wanting to do this video for a while. Not only did I get a haircut, but I've been wanting to ask the man these amazing questions. He's been, I, mean, I actually don't know how long have you been cutting hair for? I've been cutting hair 54 years. 54 years? Yes, I started in 1964. What inspired you to be a barber? Like, what was it that drew you to want to say, I want to cut hair? Frankly, my grandfather was a barber, and uh, I wanted to go to barber college. Um, I went there under the GI Bill, and um, I really didn't know if I would want to be a barber, but I thought I will try this out, and frankly, I just loved it and stayed with it ever since. Before you went in to become a barber, what did you do before? Or did you have like a goal or a dream? Like, did you want to be like an airline pilot or join the Air Force? I, I really wanted to be a clinical psychiatrist. I wanted to be a dermatologist, and I was uh, working in the, in the auto parts store, and then I had got myself a job unloading and loading boxcars while going to barber college. And I went to school in the evening and unloaded the boxcars, you know, in the morning, afternoon. Yeah. So it took a good year to get to this barber college. I went to Long Beach Barber College, uh -huh. and I was living in, uh, at that time was Los Angeles. Uh, if you can go back in time and give yourself one piece of advice, what would it be? You know, it's a funny thing though, but I would try to tell people, um, learn from other people's mistakes. It seems like we want to make our own mistakes, but if you can bypass that and learn and experience this from other people, it will get you along life a little quicker, and I think you'll be much happier. Do you ever plan on retiring? I wish not to ever retire, because I do love my job, and I love putting hands on people and maybe, you know, making people happy. So I'm going to keep doing this for as long as I can. I really feel it. Um, I had stopped barbering. I, I truly think my life will be half over. So I'll stay right with it. If you had to cut any president's hair in history, who would it be and why? Well, I would probably start with Trump and work my way all the way down to Washington. Why? The experience would be overwhelming and the enjoyment would be devastating and it would be something for me to remember through my life. Who was the most famous person that you um, gave a cut to here? Well, not so much here, but mostly in Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, I've uh, done pictures for MGM, and I had uh, people come to the barber shop who were actual uh, stars and who were people, supportive actors. So um, I remember um, Michael Landon and Victor French came in and filmed Highway to Heaven. Cornell's brothers came into the barber shop, and uh, they were talking to me about him, and they presented me with a hat. Um, back in Los Angeles, I cut red buttons here for many years. Um, I did uh, haircuts for uh, Total Recall, Rayman, It Happened to You, Showgirls. Um, they were just uh, actors that uh, were portrayed in the pictures. Just recently we made a movie called Dudes from uh, Charlie Chaplin. And so my experience of, of having lots of actors and influence in my life, uh, it just never stops. It just evolutes to where I'm happy and I enjoy my job. Besides being a barber, 
What's what's another favorite thing you like to do in your life? Like, do you like to golf or do you like to play chess or? One of my favorite things to do outside of cutting hair is I I love to ride my motorcycle and uh, I love cars. I like to restore cars. If I had the money, I would have a bunch of automobiles. I just like the technology and how it makes them work. I guess this is actually more of a personal question for you. Is like, what's something that you want the uh, the uh, like a younger person growing up right now in society? What what would you like them to to know? Because that's what I loved about when I was getting your my haircut from you. You're 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 bringing up these great points that you really needed to know in life. If um, you want to be a barber, I don't really know if you know you would want to be one unless you actually tried it. So you have to find out things that you like to do. I seem to find out that the age of 27 seems to be the special year where you have to know what direction you're going through. Because once you reach over 27, it gets to be a little harder. So you got to do your very best before you get to that 27th year. Cliff, thank you again, Cliff, for everything. Thank you for the cut. The cut. I actually have a separate video just for this. So be sure to check out down the links down in the description down below. And uh, check out Brandon who also does the videos for him and his channel down below as well. And thank you again, Cliff, for everything. It's been, been amazing. It's my pleasure. Thank you. And I appreciate everybody who's watching him. You know. I think this is going to be the best one. I just feel that. Thank you. Thanks, sir.